Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new and welcome back if you have been here for a while. I am really excited today. I have a few things to show you and uh, let's get into it without waiting any or talking. I'll talk while I open. How about that? So how has everybody been? I hope you've been well. Um, I've been posting videos the past couple days, but I haven't recorded anything. Uh, today is August 17th, and what we're going to open today was a new release two Saturdays ago from Diamond Art Club. And I've been really excited to get my hands on this kit. Uh, this is one of my favorite artists that Diamond Art Club works with. And I have not yet seen it unboxed on anybody else's channel. So I was really excited to get this and to show you guys. And it is The Keys of the Savage Garden by Anise Guerrero. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, if it's Anise or Ennis. Um, but I, I think it sounds pretty as Anise. So I'm going with that until I'm told otherwise. So if you know... Let me know down in the comments. I would be, um, I like to be respectful and I would be happy to know if I have the correct pronunciation. So this is a round Diamond Art Club diamond painting kit, round drill, and um, we'll look at the dimensions in just a second. Uh, the first thing um, is the toolkit. We'll talk about that just a little bit in case you're new to Diamond Art Club or to diamond painting. Diamond Art Club toolkits are very nice. You get a clear boat with a funnel, two heart-shaped pieces of wax, a pen, a grippy for your pen to make it more comfortable, and a whole bunch of baggies. So after a while, those baggies really add up. And then you also get a four-placer with your kit. And these are the thin four-placers that I love oh so much. They're my very favorite. And I am a hard presser, and I've told you guys this before, I go through four placers like there's nobody's business. So, that is the toolkit. You also get your logbook sticker. Uh, you can put it in your logbook or on the outside of your box or wherever else you would like to keep it. Um, I've just got a collection of them sitting around waiting to be put in my logbook that I'm not very good about keeping up on. I'd rather spend my time diamond painting. So the size of this diamond painting is 56 by 69 centimeters, and that equates to 22 by 27 in inches. So I'm just gonna set that sticker aside so that when I do get my logbook book back up and running, maybe someday I will feel uh, organizationally, or, or, organizably. So Diamond Art Club kits, if you don't know, come with a very soft back on their kits. They call it a toppling back, tarpaulin um, canvas. It is surged and uh, scalloped on the edges to prevent fraying. And let's just get right into the kit. I'm going to pull the drills out. With every kit, you also get the step-by-step -step guide to diamond painting in case you're new. And you do also get this larger sticker that has the start and end date. I use this to label my storage container so I know because I have so many works in progress going on. So I know which drills go to which project. This diamond painting has 41 colors and it looks like we have three ABs. And we'll talk about those when we get a little bit more into it. Um, but. And these are pre-scored stickers that you can place on your storage containers for easy identification when you're looking, um, when you're completing your kit. So we'll set that off to the side and let's just get right into this canvas, shall we? Because I have been waiting for her for quite a while. I usually, when I order on a Saturday of a new release, I usually get my kits by Thursday of the following week and this one took a little bit longer to get here. I ordered it when it was released on Saturday and that was a week and three days ago. So it took a little bit longer for this one to ship but still speedy shipping and there she is. Now you'll notice that the rendering or the way the canvas looks is not going to be the way it looks when it has drills on. 
round drill diamond paintings, the um, actual canvas is not usually as detailed looking as a square drill canvas is when um, you're looking at it bare without any drills. But once this has drills on it, it's going to be magnificent. I am 100% sure. And I just love, love, love Anise Guerrero's work. She does amazing art. I just love the feel, the macabre, dark feel of her work. Um, my favorite diamond painting, Artemisa, was by her. Um, as of today's date, this is August 17th, and it is still in stock. So if this is something that you'd think you'd like to purchase, um, it is currently still in stock. And like I said, we have 41 colors. So let's take a look at our colors and see. I'm anxious to see the drill colors on this. Um, it's kind of a muted palette, but it has a very, um, from the picture, a very pink feel. So I'm anxious to see what our drills are going to look like. And this is a beautiful size. I really, really like this size for a diamond painting. It's right. It's not too, too big, but it's not small by any means. So we've got uh, two bags of 3371, that dark, dark brown. Two bags of 452, which is a moth. One big, big bag of 127, and that's going to be our first AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights, and it's called that because the drills have an iridescent coating placed on them that makes them reflect a multicolored hue when the light hits them. So it makes them a little bit more sparkly than standard drills. And that's quite a few of that. those. We're going to look and see where these are going to go on the canvas in just a second. Two bags of 453, which is a tan, 938 brown, 648 tan, 3024 tan, 3860 brown, 3033 um, tan, 128, which is a brighter pink than 127, but it's still an a, it's also an AB drill. These 127s in the camera are coming off rather peachish, but in real life they look light pink. And these are a brighter pink. 3861, 779, 898, all browns. 935, forest green, 647, sage green, 3023, tan. And 141 is going to round out our three ABs, and that is going to be a white AB. So we have two pinks and a white AB, and we'll look at the canvas when we're done looking at the rest of these drills and see where those guys are going to go. So then we have 451 Dark Tan, 814, my favorite DMC code, and it's a nice hefty bag of uh, burgundy. 310, we have three big bags of black, and 498, a deeper red. Then we have 150, which is a beautiful scarlet color red, 869 brown, 3350 rose, 646 green, 937 green, 632 and 841 are browns, 321 red, 640 green, 762 light gray, 33772 browns, 3864 tan, 420 brown, 645, 934, and 844, and 3787 are all a gray green, 400 brown, and 3346 green. So those are the uh, 41 colors that make up this kit. I'm just going to take a look real quick a little bit. Um, in detail or in depth at the black drills, the darker color drills, um, and just look for the quality. I don't see any trash in there. They look very smart, smarkly, very smarkly, and um, nice flat backs. So the drills look to be in really good condition. I don't ever expect any less from Diamond Art Club. Um, I rarely have had bad drills and I think that sometimes bad drills are just batchy 
So let's take a look and see where our ABs are going to go. And holy moly, do I see a ton of them. So I'm seeing ones and twos, which are the pinks, all throughout all of these flowers that are surrounding her. There are ones and twos everywhere surrounding her. Uh, let me see if I can find some threes. That is going to be our third white AB. Yes, there's just ABs everywhere in this. So there's some three up here in these flowers, some three up in these flowers. So the threes are going to be mixed with the ones and twos. Every single flower has ones, twos, and threes that are going to be sparkling and shining. Those flowers are going to be just sparkly and shiny. So let me um, draw you up a little bit closer so that you can see the drill field up close. The symbols are very, very clear. So I don't have any concerns with symbol clarity or canvas clarity. Always very nice. And it looks like it's going to be a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. So you'll be able to use your multi-placer in a few places, and but you do also still have a little bit of confetti. And that makes a nice balance. I like it when a diamond painting has a balance of both color blocking and confetti. So I had been have in a toss up over which kit I wanted to do for the Drills and Chills event this fall, uh, starting September 1st being host by Diamond and, Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder on YouTube. And I think that I definitely am going to do this kit. I think that she is spooky enough uh, that um, with the moths and the keyhole in her heart, in her chest and her face. She is definitely spooky enough that uh, she's gonna qualify for that event. So if you're looking for a canvas to do for that event, I think that this one would be perfect. She's standing in just like a pool of blood. I bet you that's all gonna be 814 down here, or not all, but it's going to be um, some of that 814 that's gonna go down here and probably in her dress but it looks fantastic. Nope, this is 310 in her dress. So this is gonna be black down here in her dress. That's a different symbol. They don't usually use that um, red dot for black. Diamond Art Club does it. They usually use the same symbol for black. So it's interesting to see a different symbol being used for black, but that's just an anecdotal little thought that popped into my head. Now I wonder, I do wonder what color her skin is going to be. Because in the photo, it does look like she's going to have, you know, tannish, greenish skin. But on the canvas, the background looks a bit green to me. Um, let's see, we have T and A and E. Let me see just if I can just, uh, T, A, E, 648, 762, and... 3033. So I know 762 is that very light gray. 648 is going to be. Oh, yes. So it's going to be perfect. This is going to be the color. Um, this and 762 and uh, what else did I say? 3033 are going to be the colors of her skin. And I think that that's going to look just. Yeah, this is 3033 which is definitely a skin tone. So you don't have to worry about her having a green complexion. She's definitely not. She definitely has a nice um, nice tan complexion or a skin colored complexion, if you will. So that's the first thing that I have to show you guys. And if you are a fan of uh, this artist's work or if you like dark images, this is an excellent, excellent one to, to get if you haven't ordered it yet. Um, highly recommend this artist and Diamond Art Club and yeah, great, it'll be a great fall diamond painting to do. Just have that little bit of, not little bit, but you'll have that juxtaposition of being pink and pretty um, combined with the darkness of the image and I think that that's going to be really interesting result. All right, I'm just going to 
roll this back up just really quick so we can make room for our other purchases that I have to show you today. Uh, the next thing, couple things I have to show you are not diamond paintings, um, but one is diamond painting related. I was really, really excited to be stalking um, Jenny's new site or new store over on Etsy. Um, Jenny is the Uncrafty Crafter on YouTube. She recently opened an Etsy store and is selling cover minders. And she has some really original ideas for her cover minders. The name of her store is called Oh Snap. So check her out. She's got really neat things. I'm usually not a huge cover minder fanatic, but I had to have these. So um, they came in two packages because I had to place two orders. One of the cool things that she's doing is she's selling scented cover minders. And um, the first time that I ordered, they did not have any of the scented ones in stock. So I ordered something different for, for the center. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. Um, and then I was stocking her store and I saw uh, some scented ones come back into stock. So I scooped in and snagged that and she shipped incredibly fast. I mean, I got this order within a few days. So we've got these beautiful organza bags. These are just absolutely gorgeous. We've got a sticker, cute, uh, Werther's candy, and a nice roll of washi tape. So that is a bonus. Um, these are really very reasonably priced. And for what you get, it is, these are absolutely beautiful and I've never seen anything like it. So we got a little note. Hey, hey, Angie, thanks so much for your order, girl. Jenny. So this is a cover minder, and this is the one that I got. Now, let me just show you. It also comes with this guitar pick, and let me show you what that's for. And you've probably seen these on other people's uh, channels. I'm a little late to the party with this, but like I said, I was waiting for some to come back into stock. And so this cover... Um, guitar pick you use to get in there and unsnap it. Now you can see that this is like a, a, a button snap and the charm has the you know male end and it snaps in there. So this is the one that I got and it's just a glass um, a glass like bead with a beautiful flower um, beautiful flowers in it and so this then snaps into there and you've got a cover minder and you can change this out into any design that she has and I think that this is such a neat idea so for my base I got this eye and I thought that this was perfect because it's gonna go with um, pretty much any center that I could possibly pick out so Let's see what I got for my second center that I ordered on my second order. And this is the one I'm really excited about because this is something so original. I, I just, I've been in awe of it. This is, well, we got some more goodies. Hold up, wait a minute. Beautiful bags that she packages these in. Even the little treat bag is just so gorgeous. Um, oh, I love this sticker. Take me to the woods. Yes, take me to the woods. Some nerds this time and some Christmas washi tape. So adorable. Thank you so much, Jenny, for those extra treats. I love getting extra treats. I think everybody, who doesn't, right? I cut that a little bit when I was opening the package. It makes me sad. Okay, but anywho, another little note. Angie, thanks for another order. And this is a scented snap. And it smells magnificent. And I got uniform, uniform, unicorn farts. And if a unicorn, if there were unicorns and they farted, this is definitely what it would smell like. It just smells fruity and, and wonderful. And so what I got was, um, it's a dragon in there with rhinestones around the center. Isn't that cool? I love it. 
And I think it's so cool because I had wondered, how long is this scent actually going to last? And so I'm really, really excited to see that she includes with it a bottle of essential oil that has instructions to add three to five drops of the oil to the felt pad inside the scented snap. So this opens up and has a felt pad inside and you can add oil to it when you need to refresh the scent. And I just thought this was just an amazing idea. I, such an original idea. So this, I'm really excited about this snap. And doesn't that look great, you guys? With the rhinestones around the dragon and then the dragon inside the eye with the rhinestones. I love it. Definitely gonna become my favorite cover minder. And she uses the nice, big, strong magnets. So this sucker, it's not going anywhere. It's not the, like the little magnets. So thank you so much, Jenny. And thank you for shipping so quickly. And I am so excited to use this. I think this just, I, I know that other people have shown it, but I just think it's such a novel idea and great idea, great idea, great job. So let me set this stuff to the side and that is going to conclude the diamond painting portion of my little mini haul that I've got here. Um, the next thing that I have is, okay, you guys, I craft NATO'd again. And this is something that I'm going to say you should never say never. I have showed in the past on my channel several um, unboxings of cross-stitch kits. And I have always said that I only do stamped cross-stitch kits and that I would never do a counted cross-stitch. I lied. I'm sorry, I didn't intentionally lie, but I decided to branch out. I have been watching um, a YouTuber, her name is Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. And I just love her. She does floss tube. Um, for if you don't know what floss tube is, it's um, cross stitch YouTube. And I have been um, really enjoying watching some different floss tubes and seeing the beautiful detailed uh, things that people are creating. It's just it's just awe inspiring. And she showed this kit and I just had to have it. So this comes from Owl Forest Embroidery. And what I liked about this, this is just my uh, packing slip. What I liked about this is that it came as a kit. So this is a counted cross stitch. It's 111 by 111 stitches. So it's not too big. And it is called, it's in Russian, um, I believe it's called Mushroom King. And that's what it's going to look like. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. And I thought that this would be a nice kit for me to start with um, for making the move from stamped cross stitch to counted cross stitch. And also making the jump from stitching only on Ada to stitching on linen. I'm going to do it, you guys. I am so excited. This is my first fancy thread that I've ever gotten. Um, the thread that came, comes with it is hand dyed thread and I'm going to take it out and show it to you guys. So the kit comes with an instruction booklet which I can't show you the, oh this just shows instructions of how to diamond or how to uh, cross stitch in both um, English and Russian. So it's great that it comes in English and the name of this company, I'm not sure if I said is Owl Forest Embroidery and they are in Russia. Um, it also comes with your linen and your pattern, which I cannot show you the pattern, but I'm just going to look at it a little bit off camera and it's really nice in that they um, separated it into small portions um, that you put together and yeah it's in a nice it, it's a nice thick paper so I'm really happy about that 
and um, I know I have no new starts in August, so I can't start this until September 1st, but I will be starting it on September 1st because I am so excited to try this. So let's take a look at these threads. This is the first time I've ever had fancy hand dyed threads and they are beautiful. They are beautiful and they're on these little tags that show the symbol on the pattern to which they correspond. So we've got this, these beautiful earthy tones and I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but they are slightly variegated. So you're gonna get a good looking depth to your um, cross stitch kit when it's finished. And I think that it's going to be just gorgeous. Just, just gorgeous. I love the variegated thread. Definitely a winner. Definitely, definitely. So this doesn't look too bad. This is stitched on, I don't remember what count linen this is. I wanna say it's 28 count. Let me just look and see if it gives the specifications on here. Um, dun, dun, dun. Two over two, so we're using two strands over two strands or two strands over two threads. And it is 28 count linen. And I know that it has 28 count hazelnut linen. And I don't remember the brand name of the linen, I apologize. But looking at it, it's not as it's not as intimidating as I had thought it was going to be. It's very, um, I'm gonna definitely be able to find the holes. So with linen, if you're stitching on linen instead of Ada, I've been watching some tutorials and you do have where, you know, if you're stitching on Ada or even weave, you've got um, uniform lines. And you can tell looking at this, some of the lines are, some of the threads are thicker than others. So it gives a different look to it, a little bit less uniform, but still beautiful all the same. And I really wanted to try stitching on linen. I really wanted to experience this. And I thought that this was the perfect little kit to do it with. It also comes with a needle and needle minder. And there was a brand name on the needle, but I'm not into it enough to know what's a good brand of needle and what's, what's not. But it does come with this, adorable little mushroom needle minder, which you could also use for diamond painting for a cover minder. Um, and that's just to keep your needle when you're not using it so you don't lose your needle. I stick mine in the arm of the chair. But gosh, that's a teeny needle, you guys. Ugh, I am a little bit scared, just a little bit scared. But that's all I have for you today. So wish me luck as I go out on a limb here and try something completely new to me. Um, like I said, I won't be able to start it. No, I'm sorry, it does say on here, I won't be able to start it until September 1st. It does say on here, it's not the Mushroom King, it's called Father Mushroom. So if you're interested in this kit, it's called Father Mu Mushroom, and I'll link it in the description as, long, as well as links to everything else that I showed you today. And uh, that's another, um, just shot of what that is going to look like. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So cute. And I think I'm going to do this one for my sister. She has mushroom canisters from the 70s and they're just super cool in her kitchen. And so she has mushrooms in her kitchen. I think I'm going to do this for her. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did this little unboxing and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.